What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you mass import from Selfie. And also, I wanna say, if you are considering or if you have bought on Selfie, make sure to subscribe. As I'm pushing out sales on Selfie, if you have subscribed to the newsletter, you will be the first one that sees this sale. And you will be the first one to get it as well. And also, there's a few items that is only limited for my subscribers on Selfie. So make sure to subscribe on Selfie and get a newsletter. Uh, well, you don't get a newsletter. The only thing you get is updates when I upload new stuff and you get discount codes or you get notified when there's a sale so it's not like you get spammed or anything so just subscribe if you want super deals on my transitions and everything that I upload for free and some items that you can pay for so let's move over to LumaFusion and I'm gonna show you what you do from the time you pay for an item or get the free one until you get the mail until you can apply them inside of LumaFusion to your video footage So we're going to start by going into our mail where we will have a mail from Selfie with a download product button. This button is green, you also have a download link. So if you can't press the button, you can go to the download link below. So that will take us directly over to Selfie's webpage and you can see all the items here. Here we have the overlay, you have music and sound effects, Luma Fusion Big Pack and Kinetic Typography. This is a new package that I have launched for brand new Luma Fusion users. So if you are brand new, you can buy this pack and you get every single thing that I have for sale. Uh, except for you don't get the monthly updates. The monthly updates can only be bought via PayPal and you have to watch the video or you don't have to watch the video but go to the video and there will be instruction in the description on that video on how you get this package. So let's start by going to the LumaFusion big pack. This is a zip file and this pack contains all the transition you get when buying this pack. So let's start by clicking on download. And once the download is complete, you have two options. You can open in LumaFusion or you can tap on more. We're gonna tap on more and then we're gonna copy it to LumaFusion. Once we copy it to LumaFusion, LumaFusion will open right away. What can happen and in most cases will happen is that once you go into color and effects, your uh, LumaFusion will crash. But the only thing you have to do is go right back into LumaFusion again. So we're going to start by going into LumaFusion once more. And then we go to color and effects and we tap on this little star on the bottom right and that will take us to all the transitions that we just imported. And as you can see, every single transition is successfully imported. And if you still miss some transitions, and if you still miss some transitions, you can just redo the procedure we just did. And the rest of the transitions would be added the next time. Once we go over to frame and fit, and you tap on the star and the frame and fit, and you see that you have all the motion presets as well. And if we move out of LumaFusion and into our files folder on our device, you see that we have 101 effects and we have 30 motions. If you tap on any of these and you get into the folder, you can simply rename everything if you feel like you need to do that, but make sure to keep the 20F or the certain amount and F in front of your file. This is because it's the frames that you need to cut inside of LumaFusion before applying this effect. You can also adjust and you can also make different frames as well and see what works out the best for you. You can make them go faster by doing shorter clips and you can make them go slower by doing longer clips into your LumaFusion projects. But I recommend using the frames that are set because these effects are maximized with the current frames that is applied to them. So now let's move over to the next download. We're gonna tap on the download link once more and we get into Luma Fusion Starter Pack 400 plus. And this time we're gonna apply the Kinetic Pack. So this is not a zip file, which means that you have to import one by one. I tried to make it into a zip file, but it just didn't want to work. So what we have to do here is that we tap on download. And once the download is complete, you simply open in LumaFusion and LumaFusion will open the project file right away. 
the next thing you do is you go back to your Selfie page and you keep on downloading every single one of them. And once the download is complete on all of them and you add it one by one, then everything will be saved under your files folder, then LumaFusion and then project backups. And here you can also adjust the name and rename every single project if you want to do that. This will add the name to your project, but not inside of LumaFusion, but it will add it inside of the files folder and you will have it with that name unedited. So if you edit anything inside of LumaFusion, this will not apply to the file that you just renamed. So let's move over to music and sound effects. We tap on download. This is a big pack, so it might take some time. So I'm just gonna speed this one up. Once the download is complete, you have two options, open in LumaFusion or tap on more. If you open in LumaFusion and nothing will happen, as you see, if you tap on more and then you save it to files and you choose whatever folder you want to save it to, we're gonna save it to Kinetic. And once it's saved to Kinetic, we open the files folder and we tap on kinetic typography. What happens is nothing. So what you simply have to do is to tap on the import button inside of LumaFusion and then you have to go to imported. And once you tap on imported, you will have a mobile Safari folder. Inside this mobile Safari folder, every single sound effect and music will be added but you can still follow the procedure because adding it to the files folder may be the reason for LumaFusion to creating a mobile Safari folder. So here you can apply and test out every single sound effect or music. All the music is named with ES in front of it. In that way, you know that ES is a music file and not a sound effect. And you can also see it on the duration of the file as well. So let's move over to the next import and that is overlays. Since LumaFusion made the mobile Safari folder, the only thing we have to do is to open in LumaFusion. This will start a rendering process and everything will be imported under the mobile Safari folder. And you see it's quite messed up, but what you can do now is you go into the same zip file, which is overlay, and you archive it into your iCloud Drive and we're just gonna save it to 400 LUTs and once that is done we simply go into the import button once more then we find iCloud Drive and we tap on the zip file which says overlays the next thing we do is wait for LumaFusion to extract and download the files and you will get the file saying that the zip files has been extracted and media placed in the imported library other content like presets fonts and lots will be added to the appropriate clip editor which is color and effects and frame and fit under motions or where you save your presets and this will start the rendering process again what happened now when the render is done is that LumaFusion will create another folder inside of iCloud Drive which says overlays. So inside of this folder you will have only the overlays that you just imported to LumaFusion so you won't have anything messed up at all. So I hope that video helped you out. I hope you now understood how easy it is to actually mass import from Selfie to LumaFusion and if you still have problems don't comment on my channel or any of my videos because it might end up in the spam folder and then I don't see it right away. So it might take some time before I actually realize that you had issues. So contact me by mail. My mail is under the info tab on my channel. So if you have any issues, just contact me by mail. So that's everything for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.